Hey, what's going on my friends? In this video, we're taking another updated look at our $25 a week dividend portfolio. Yes, we are contributing $25 a week, trying to build up our net worth. And I get it, it's a grind, my friends. This is a slow but steady process. You know, when people talk about wanting to become rich and strike it big, this, that, and the other, and we don't like to think about the journey there, but it's kind of cool when you can look back and be like, man, look, look at this journey. Look where we started at a hundred dollars and look where we are over 1300. Well, my friends, let's just kick it off with the one day update where you can see we're actually down 0.35%, almost $5. And when you jump out a week, Things start to turn for the <clears throat> for the better, for the good. We go up 0.45%, up about $5.86 in the past month. We're up 1.72%. Our gain is 21.41%. The past quarter, it goes up to 5.19%, which is $57.15. And one year, all time, you can see we are up 15.69%, which is a gain of $124.42. That's what I'm talking about. This is what we want to see. This is how you grow your money. Get your money to work for you because that savings account is only good for your emergency savings. After that, once you get, you know, two, three months, four months, five months, six months, some people believe you should have a year of emergency savings. Once you get that in place, you need to start to grow your money because letting it sit there is essentially not doing you any good because of inflation. And over time, that money is losing its value. Whereas putting it inside of a dividend portfolio that's showing you a return of 15.69%. Oh, man, you can't. Come on. Come on. I mean, yes, there's much you can do better than 15%, but you really can't. I mean, if you're just trying to have a nice way to get your money to work for you, but kind of be safe. Of course, nothing's guaranteed with the stock, mar stock market. Um, you know, if a crash happens, things happen. But that's also the beauty of a dividend portfolio. You see, when these dips happen on a on a whole market where, you know, the whole market is is, is uh, affected, negatively, negatively affected, generally, you can still at least rely on your dividends. And you'll still have money coming in from your dividends, which we've had um, $17 and about 75 cents from our earned dividends. Again, we started this portfolio back on February 1st with $100 contributing $25 a week. And yeah, when we got our stimulus check, we, we went out. Yeah, we got a dinner. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we got lobster or something, some Chinese food or something. Did, did it big. Might have uh, might have um, maybe maybe got a pair of Jordans or something, too. But then we also put money towards our bills. And then we also put $500 towards our dividend portfolio. And you see how much it helped it to jump up and speed things up a bit. This is the power of money. The more money you have in your portfolio, the more you're going to have that's working for you. And the more quickly it's going to start to generate larger amounts of uh, you know monthly or quarterly income. That is the beauty of a dividend portfolio. Um, but yeah, you guys see that little jump there. This is important because I know how, you know, I was going to put more in here, but I wanted to make it kind of realistic. And I know how tempting it can be when you're balling on a budget, you get paid, you ain't trying to spend your money, go just dump it in your dividend, your, your dividend portfolio, your retirement, your Roth IRA, your 401k, whatever it might be. No, you're trying to spend that money and enjoy it and live life. I get it. So I try to make it like, all right, we're going to put some of this stimulus check in here and then we're going to use some of the other stuff. Like I said, some will go towards bills. Some will go towards us enjoying a night out or something or Chinese food or whatever. We 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 order it in. We ain't doing the, the canned soups or, or microwavable meals for the night. Um, and, and then we just continue grinding. Keep adding twenty five dollars a week. And it's a, it's a process. It's a journey. It takes time. But we're heading in the right direction. And being that this portfolio is only $25 a week, anyone watching this can do this. 
anyone who has the ability to watch this video can do this. I'm not saying it's going to be easy for every one of you, but if you are watching this video, you should subscribe to this channel because we have other content to help you with making money. And then once you get that money and you manage it properly, then it's about growing it. And that's what we're doing now. We're growing this extra money. We got our income coming in. Then we, we're paying our bills. We're budgeting. We're managing our money. And then we have a little allocated towards our dividend portfolio or our Roth IRA, our retirement. You got to be thinking ahead. And, you know, it's just like it's like someone with fruit with the with the with the, you know, an apple tree or something like it starts with the seed. You got to water that seed, let it grow. And when it does finally grow and blossom into a nice, beautiful tree that's producing apples that are nice, and delicious and scrumptious and juicy. Well, that's when you are able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. But we are now just in the process where we have we planted our seed over here. And, you know, we, this is us planting our seed. Like we clear the area, found the area we want to do it. Then we planted the seed and it jumped up. And then now we're just watering it and it takes time. It's a process. It takes years, right? Trees don't just grow up overnight. And this is the same difference with our dividend portfolio. So start your portfolio if you haven't yet. I have a link down below to M1 Finance where you can use my link and get, I think right now they have a $50 promotional deal. If you start and fund your account. Um, I think all you need to, to fund it with is $100, which is what we use to start our M1 Finance dividend portfolio account here. Um, and then you'll get a free $50. So you'll have your first week already under your belt just by using my link down below. I also have a link to uh, Webull, which Webull, I just made this video on my other channel, but Webull has just officially rolled out fractional shares on their website, um, on, on their app, on their platform as well. So Great news for anyone out there who uses Webull. I'm a big Webull fan as well as M1 Finance. And so I have a link down below to Webull. If you use my link and sign up and start and fund your account, you can also get, uh, I think it's two or two or three free stocks as well. Definitely not too bad. I hope you guys can see this. I don't see my little thing over here. So um, might not be able to see this, but either way, fractional shares is where it's at, especially if you're balling on a budget see some bigger, larger promising companies you believe in, some tech companies, Tesla, someone or Amazon or Apple, you want to get on board. You don't necessarily have enough for the full share. Well, fractional shares will help you, will allow you to uh, gain some ownership to get, get, your, uh, get the ball rolling in the right direction. But let's take a look at our dividend portfolio. You guys know what it is. We got to get an update and see who is doing well, who is killing it. Because right now, when we look at it, our top dogs, I mean, our return right now is 15%. Gains, again, our total gains is $124. Well, of course, at the top, we got Newt, who's still a top dog, killing it 68%, $44. What did I just say? Our gains is 124 They're 44 So, hey, the good thing is, they, it looks like Newt, I mean, it's not good, but it is good, where it looks like Newt is coming down a little bit, but we're still up high around this 15% return, which is great. And we're still up at over $100. So it looks like other companies are starting to kind of produce and do well, as, as you can see with Pepsi passing realty income. Let's scroll down and get this here. So really good news. Um, we're seeing... We're seeing other companies starting to produce and doing well. Coca-Cola is right beneath realty income um, with $13.63. Realty income's at $16.40. PepsiCo was at $18.36. Um, next on the list down beneath uh, Coca-Cola is 3M, where they've uh, we got about $10 from them. Procter and Gamble is next at $9.24. Johnson and Johnson is at $7.35. Verizon is $3.69. JP Morgan Chase is at $2.58. And then at the bottom is AT&T with negative 0.59 cents. And we, you guys know, if you've been following along, you know about the news with AT&T. And I actually did pull up this article where I mentioned it last week and I'm going to mention it again. Now might be a good time for us to consider getting AT&T out of the mix. Um, 
different people have different feelings. This article kind of aligns with my feelings a bit more, um, you know, than, than I think it had in the past. Um, again, I get it. AT&T is trying to focus, you know, with these latest changes, uh, you know, you'll like, you'll like a 50% cut to T, um, AT&T stock dividend. Um, yeah, like, no, no, we, we won't like, uh, cut in our dividend. That's why we signed up with AT&T. That's why we got AT&T on board with us in this dividend portfolio, because we were like, you know what? AT&T has been around for a long time. They've been reliable and they've been producing these, these dividends, uh, at this, this beautiful level. But the bottom line is right now, today, it says first, it overpays for Warner Media, forcing thousands of employees to be axed. Then it comes up with a supposed face saving spinoff that takes away half of the shareholders beloved dividend. Lastly, it tries to sell shareholders on the fact that on the fact they get two valuable stocks worth considerably more than twenty eight dollars. That's pure. Yeah. Um. I, I mean, it's just like, mm, I'm, I'm a fan, you know, not, not only of obviously getting as much as possible with our dividends, of course, no one, no one ever wants to hear your dividends are going to be cut. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of maintaining my dividends and, and when you see them make such a large cut and you know, this, this was really what it came down to that we initially reported about spinning off of Warner Media, merging it with Discovery. It's like, mm, wanted to kind of give them a little bit. And I know it's going to be like, it's a long haul in terms of seeing the these these this this move pay off for them, I think. I don't think it's something you're going to see in the immediate near future. But we're focused on growth as well as, you know, growth like, like we, we want to see our money working for us now and not as much of, well, we got to be committed with them for a bit and believe in them. And, you know, cause I don't think the actual stock price is going to be increasing drastically. Um, so we really do need something that we're depend that we can rely on when it comes to the dividend payout and they cut their dividend, you know, them cutting it in half doesn't, it ain't, it ain't going to cut it. It ain't going to cut it. Um, considering that we're only down 0. 0.59 cents with them um it might be the time to to make the swap and get them out so i think what i'm going to do in the next by the next video maybe I'll, I'll have to add a new company in here but i'd love to hear what you guys think about who we should have um someone had previously mentioned abvi which we had abvi a while ago and i i swapped them out for you know a few different reasons but maybe we get abvi back in the mix um i do have in my other portfolio like home depot who's been doing well um, and there was someone else in my other portfolio as well. And then we can also consider adding an ETF or an index. Um, you know, there are other options. So we don't have to have a singular company. Um, maybe we add another REIT. We want to, you know, we understand it's going to be risky. You can change companies out. So when the market starts to turn for the worse, you know, you, maybe you start to change out the REITs, um, you know, the real estate um, companies. Um but they also produce well, as you can see. So maybe we want to get another read in here. It's going to make it more risky, but the reward will be greater. Uh, although we're, we're taking quite a bit of a, a risk with uh, AMC and my other portfolio. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Which, hey, if you guys want to take a risk in something that could potentially explode in the very near future, AMC might be the company. So you have your dividend portfolio over here and then you got AMC on the other side, which I have them in my M1, uh, my Webull account. So, yeah, you got to take your risk, but also be smart. And that's where we have this portfolio working for us. And I have other portfolios that I that I rely on to help me with, you know, building up my my kind of retirement or like kind of my one of my savings. Maybe this is we'll use this dividend portfolio to purchase a house. It'll be a down payment, you know, in a few years to buy a house. Maybe we'll use this um, for a new car, um, get a used car, you know, down payment for a brand new car, uh, a trip a vacation. That's the beauty of these portfolios. You can create multiple portfolios, but having one that produces dividends is really good in which if the market crashes and tanks, you're still going to have the dividends coming in. 
that is the value, part of the value with dividend portfolio. This is passive income. It's getting your money to work for you and then you make money while you're not necessarily working. You're not doing anything. We just put our money here and then let it do its thing. If we were adding $250 a week instead of only $25 a week, this would be much larger. This would be much larger, right? We're just putting, you got to keep the return percentage in mind. This is great. This is really, really good. We're paying, we're only playing with again, $25 a week. So when people, when you, you look at the current value, look at the gains, it might not be that impressive, but this is, we're doing really well with this portfolio. So if your portfolio looks anything like this or better, great job to you. Keep it up. And if you're someone out there who's like, I want to start investing. I don't know where to start. I'm a little intimidated. Well, this is one option, a dividend portfolio with reliable companies that have been around for a long time, that will be around for a long time, that are able to say, hey, we want to give you, our shareholder, you know, some dividends. We want to show you our appreciation. And, and you know, this is the returns of your, your money that has been at work, helping us grow our, our company and, you know, make money and profits. Well, here here's your little kickback. Thank you. And so- Get started, my friends. No excuses. $25 a week is all you need. You can add more than that, but this is the minimum. I mean, not even the minimum. I think you can do, you know, as as we just saw with uh, Weeble, $5, I think, you know, might be the minimum a day. Um, so if you were like, hey, I'm really balling. I'm, I'm broken and broke. And, I, you know, $5 is all I got to my name to spare. Hey, $5 a day might be better than nothing, right? You got to start somewhere. And, um, Again, when we're seeing returns with like 15%, this is, you won't find a savings or checking account that's giving you these kind of numbers. So we're going to wrap it up there, my friends. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Like I mentioned, we have links down below to Webull, to M1 Finance, where you can get free money or you know free stocks um, when you start and fund your account. Get the ball rolling, my friends. No excuses. $25 a week. We're up over $1,300. I'm loving it. And hopefully you are too. Much appreciation for watching. If you haven't already, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below letting me know what do you think. Who should we get into the, the mix for AT&T? Or should it be an ETF or an index fund? Comment down below. Let us know. And uh, you already know. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.